Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to wrap text around the image using Microsoft Word. So let's go ahead and open up a blank Word document and we just click blank document here. So we just got this blank Word document and we want to add some text and some images in here and then wrap the text around the image. So we need some content to work with. I'm just going to open up the web browser and let's just go over here. So here's the web browser. I've just got my portfolio, like my website running here, just to grab some images. So we'll go into my portfolio. And let's say we're looking at maybe logo design. So you can see loads of different logos that I've designed for my clients. I do web stuff, loads of different things. But let's look at logos today. And let's take this logo, for example, the first one. So here we can see the logo. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into the folder. And I'm also going to drag and drop these three pictures as well. So I've got four pictures in total. And I've got this text. So I'm going to select all of this text and the bullets. Let's just right click and copy that information. So I've got some content to work with now. Now normally before I paste it into a Word document, I'll paste it into Notepad, then cut it out of here. And the reason I'm doing that is it will remove all the formatting from the text content itself. So the first thing I'll do is paste in this, this text. Here's just some text. You can type anything you like, but I'm just going to paste in this text. Let's just sort out these um, this formatting here a little bit. So the text looks something like this and probably I'll have a title across the top. In fact, let's just add one. Um, let's just make it right. So we'll take, um, let's just take this information here and we'll just do something like this for a title, yeah? Let's just make that right. So we might center this and make it a bit larger and bold it. So that's our title. Now we want to add an image, but I want the, the, the picture really to be on the right hand side here. So I'll take the logo first. This is the logo. I'm just going to drag and drop it into the top section here, the top left. And when you drag and drop it, you can see it's positioned like this. It may position it below, it may position it in some funny place, but you can see it's not wrapping around the text. So what I'll do is I'll right click on this picture, right click on the image and then go to wrap text and set square here, square. So when I do that, I can now resize the picture and as I resize it, the text will wrap around it. So you just need to resize it to a nice position, something like here I think will be pretty good. And one thing to note is you can drag the text to the left, right? You can drag it to the right. And as I drag it to the right, when I drag it to the center, this green line appears. That's telling me it's right in the middle of the document. And as I drag it to the right hand side, there'll be a, a green line appear on the right hand side here, right here. You can see that green line. That's telling me that's the edge of the margin. I don't really want to go outside the margin. So I drag it to this position, let go. And then I might select this text and just block justify it. So it kind of sits blocked around the image like this. It's kind of optional, right? You don't need to do that. So there's some uh, examples of adding some text wrapped around uh, an, a, an image. And normally I'll probably just left align this text like this, something like this. Now, also one other quick tip, this is not really to do with text wrapping, but sometimes you want to add three images on a row. So let's say you want to put these three pictures on a row. The way that I do that is I go to um, insert table and I'll do three on a row. So one row uh, and three columns like this. And I'll drag and drop one of the pictures. Let's say this coffee cup. Let's drag that into here. And when I drag it, it moves down the page because the image is quite large. So I'm just going to resize that image. I'll make it quite small, something like this sort of size. And then all I'll do is select this image. I'll press Control C to copy, and I'll press Control V here and Control V here. So I'll just copy and paste in them. I'll select all of them, go to Home, and go to Center. So I want to center it out, right? Now, what I'll do is I'll select the first image, right click, and go Change Picture from File, and we'll go to this directory in the browser here, and we'll select the coffee cup again and click Insert. This is going to resize it slightly, and then we'll right click here. In fact, what we might do, let's stretch this out a little bit. If I stretch it out, when I, as I begin to stretch it out, it's going to start to move the, the, the middle column. You can see the middle column moving. So I'm going to stretch it to a point where it's, where it's not moving. So around here, something like this. Let's copy this one, select this one, paste it, select this one and paste it. Then we'll click this one, right click, change picture from file, select it and then click insert and it will slightly increase the size. Can you see like there's a little gap down the bottom here? Let's click this one, right click, uh, change picture from file and we select the next picture and click insert and then we just right click, 
change picture from file and we'll select the last one and insert now they're all correct size and we can just click here to highlight the whole table or left click on the side that will highlight this whole table let's click here and say no border now you've got nice three images sitting side by side and it looks really clean right then all you need to do is just go to file save as and we'll save this piece of work so let's just browse on the computer let's go to this same directory we'll save it in here and let's just call this bago yama that's the name of the company we'll call it logo design and you might want to send this to a client as an example of work right so you might put your company details down here here's an example of a restaurant logo that we've done recently or something like this and we'll go to file export as or save as a pdf file and we'll save that as well i like to send pdfs to clients so now you've got a nice little pdf file that you can send to your client it's got the logo in there the text is selectable right and if you resize it it's going to resize nicely so this is a pretty good way to get images into your content this is the way to wrap text around the pictures and this is how you do three on a row three on a row is a bit of extra bit of information but i think it's still useful so let's close this let's close this that's how you go about wrapping text around images using microsoft word i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial